Hello and welcome to watch this MI8 landing tutorial. Let's go through some indicators that we have helping us to land this helicopter. First we have the radar altimeter. Now good to know stuff we have the this knob over here where we can select a certain altitude and if we go below that altitude we will get an audio and a visual warning in order to gain hover position we have the Doppler hover indicator on the left hand side indicating the vertical velocity and on the right hand side indicating the direction which we are drifting away hitting the zero in the middle meaning that we are in perfect hover rotor pitch indicator indicating the angle of our rotor blade of course the airspeed very important and for the last but not least our main star of the vent we have the vertical velocity indicator over here the most important tool we will have helping us to land this uh, helicopter airspeed is a really important factor why well because if we have enough speed we are basically able to do all kind of crazy maneuvers and still recover if things go bad now if we don't have that speed helping us that's the point when things starting to go tricky also that's the point when we need to start paying attention to the vertical velocity indicator descending anything between 0 and 3 is good 4 is pushing you luck already and when you are closing up number 5 that's when the bad stuff is starting to happen uh, and remember this indicator is a little bit slow so it will take some time to react all the rapid altitude changes now what will happen if you descend more than 4 meters per second well you are going to enter to the vortex ring state now not going too much into the details you can find all kind of good information from the internet but basically it means that the airflow next to your uh, helicopter is getting disturbed you are not gaining any more lift from your rotor blades. The vortex ring state will occur if you are you, if your speed is lower than 40 km per hour and you are descending more than uh, 4 meters per second. It's the worst nightmare of any helicopter pilot. If you have low speed and you are descending ver very rapidly, always keep in mind that that you may enter to the water from state and fall like a rock. When you enter to the vortex in state, the way you get out of that is by lowering collective and pitching nose down or any other direction which you have available. Essentially getting out of that bad column of air which is disturbed by the vortex ring. Enter auto extreme state, lower collective, pitching nose down, and raising collective not too rapidly, and we are okay. Alright, we are planning to land on that yellow field which we can see in 12 o'clock, and since we are quite a way from our landing spot. I'm using this opportunity to lose all the unnecessary altitude which we have right now. I have the heading autopilot on, keeping me on course. Since we are moving more closer to the landing spot, I'm 
starting to lose their speed also by pitching my nose up. Keeping an eye on the airspeed and on the vertical velocity indicator. Closing up. Need to lose more the more airspeed. Still have my heading autopilot keeping on my keeping on the cars. Probably gonna disable it right now. This is good. Lowering the collective. Getting off that altitude. We're gonna land right next to those buildings. 12 o'clock. Trimming. Closing the airspeed. Ma making sure we don't descend more than the 3 meters per second. Playing with uh, collective. can see the hover indicator is active now. Very good stuff. Nice and steady. Put the heading autopilot on. This is good course which we have. Nice and steady. Watching the vertical velocity indicator. Not going over the 3 meters per second. And come on, there we go. Parking brake on. And that was quite well, a nice landing, actually. Alright, let's do more a rapid landing. So we have way, way too much altitude. We're gonna do some crazy maneuvers over here. Put the indicators on. Let's see, there I can see some buildings on my 10 o'clock. Let's land over there. Keeping on the eye on the airspeed and on the vertical velocity indicator. Not letting go the full stop and not dropping it over. Descending over 3 meters per second when, when in lower speeds. Little shake, it's all right. Watching that ve vertical velocity, it's going over four. It's still all right. Trimming out. I'm gonna put my heading autopilot on to keep it on this this heading. Nice and steady. Th descending the three meters per second for nice little touchdown. There we go.